Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Ayesa Comfort. I live at number 7 Jimo Street, Okokomaiko. I thank God for making me to be a chosen. Thank you, Lord. Sir, I want to render a song to God of Chosen. Okay. Eba miki baba ku ishe baba 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 ku ishe yano baba ku ishe baba 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 ku ishe baba 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 ku ishe yano ku ishe yano eba miki baba o baba 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 ku ishe yano. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My testimony goes like this. I thank God of choosing for heal my husband from the swollen stomach. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. This swelling of stomach started on Tuesday, the week to the program. So he woke up in the morning and told me that he's having problem on his stomach. We pray, we do what we can do. I called my pastor, he prayed. This thing continued. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is a nurse in our church. We called him, he conducted toys, he treated him. The thing continues. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Thursday to the program, we brought him here. He couldn't walk. He couldn't talk. He couldn't do anything. He would just be using hand to be doing like this. Chosen praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So my husband was lying down there, down there on that faithful day, on Thursday like this. So our daddy mentioned his case and said, you that your stomach swell up. I caused that stomach. Stand up. You are healed in Jesus name. Amen. So we told him, let him stand up. He stood up that day and walked towards this place. Chosen, Yay. praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. So that day, the God of chosen started the healing. Amen. And from here, we took him to hospital. When we got to hospital, the doctor conducted a series of tests to him. He couldn't find anything. So he has to give us to go another lab for, for surgery. For, for, for that to test. Lab. For that test. Yes, sir. For another test. So when we go to the place, before we go, my husband said because he couldn't dedicate, he couldn't do anything. He said he wants to dedicate. He said, God of choosing, thank you. That is when he stood up, dedicated that day. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. When we go to the lab, he said he wants to dedicate again. He did the same thing. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, that place... The doctor, they did, did everything they can they scan. They, could, they couldn't find anything. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we came back to the hospital, the doctor said, now that we have done what we can do, we didn't see anything. He invited another doctor from Lutz to come and examine my husband. So the doctor said, hey, Madam, this thing never happened before. That somebody's stomach swelled up and inflicted on his own without is not without surgery and is not a five years old baby. Now, my sure man that now this thing without surgery just deflated on his own. That's never happened before. Chosen, praise the Lord. Clap your hands on the God of the chosen, the miracle working God, the God of our pastor. So that is how God of choosing heal my husband. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When we got home, one of his legs swelled up again. I said, God of choosing, come and take over this one also, as you did the first one. So when I came to Thursday program again, my daddy mentioned the case and said, You, that your left leg swelled up, I cost that leg. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. When I got home, I lay hand on the leg and I said, My daddy has caused it, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The following day, when my husband woke up, the leg has deflected on his own. Power. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In short, I don't even know there is love in lost chosen like this. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why I'm saying this? During this, that my husband is at the hospital. If you see my branch people with prayer, with money, with food, even the children, they don't even feel it that we are not around. They talk over the, everything about the children. Even we ourselves, even the sanitary member in church, I pray that God of choosing will bless every one of you in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my pastor, my pastor, Pastor Ephraim. In short, anywhere he is now, the God of choosing will continue to be with him in Jesus' name. Amen. God of my pastor will make him to be like my G.O. in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my G.O. The God of choosing that make him to answer this call because of me, because of my family. Because if not that I may choose him today, I will have be a widow today. That's for true. this my pastor answered the call I pray that the God of choosing will never leave him in any seconds, any minutes in Jesus name Amen. the Lord will fight for him secret battle, open battle in Jesus name Amen. I pray for the choosing ones worldwide, heaven at last in Jesus name Amen. I and my family members, heaven at last in Jesus name Amen. I cover my testimony with the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. I pray promise God if he can cancel the operation for my husband that will come and give him this token in my hand this is the words I have brought today chosen praise the Lord hallelujah let's clap unto God and appreciate him <clears throat> brethren this type of miracle is not something we should just push aside and say next testifier yes the doctor said he has not seen this before that somebody's stomach will swell up and it is not a child of five years old but a matured man he has not seen it that when the stomach swell up he will deflate by himself and the person will go to the toilet without surgery that he has not seen it but what did God of choosing do he made the doctor to see what he has not seen before. Hallelujah. Yes. The point is that when the doctor tell you something, that is not the final story. That is not the end of your matter. The end of your matter lies with God of choosing. And you need to tell the doctor with due respect doctor don't do anything to me until I go and see my pastor and come back praise the Lord and then when you come you sit down present the matter to God of our pastor and then the God of our pastor will speak through his servant and they cancel that matter and you you will see that you don't need any operation again so this type of testimony we need to publish it we need to let people know you cannot imagine how many people have died because of swollen stomach because of swollen leg because of one sickness or the other that God of choosing is healing free of charge tell people that this is what you had write it down so that you don't forget it when you go to morning cry, share the testimony in the morning cry. When you enter bus, share the testimony in the bus. When you get to the market, share the testimony in the market of what God of choosing is doing. And God will be happy with you. Let's clap unto God and appreciate him. Amen. 